What would you like to pass on to younger lesbians and younger lesbians with disabilities? Well, first of all, I want them to know that we, we have a movement, we exist, there are role models. And I feel like we're one of the only movements where we don't know our role models. And I don't want them to feel like they don't have a legacy or foremothers or people who paved the way. And I want them to fight, not fight in the, you know, that way, but I want them to speak up about their rights. I mean, just the idea that we had a disabled lesbian movement is pretty amazing because the generation before us didn't have that. And I think that started with Ricky Bowden doing her support groups at Operation Concern. And we were all in them. And then we had all these activities together that we were involved in. So some of us were involved in wheelchair ball. And then I think Patty and I decided we want just a lesbian team. So we started our own team that was just lesbian. And then Patty and Judy and I started Rye Crips Readers Theater. And then Judy Smith also was a founding member of Axis Dance Troupe. And then I was one of the early members of Axis Dance Troupe. So we started to have this cultural thing happening where we were just creating new forms, new institutions, new ways of being. Um, and it was, pretty, it was pretty much like somebody would say, oh, I have an idea, let's do this. And the next thing you know, you'd have 30 disabled lesbians all in a reader's theater. You know? um, so it was pretty fabulous. It's just so beautiful to come full circle and be doing this project, Fable to Ask which is 40 year retrospective of the disabled lesbian uh, movers and shakers and so many of whom have passed away. And we're kind of running behind trying to catch people and they seem to be dying right before we get to get their story. And, um, but we're going forward, you know, and hopefully we're, we're leaving behind a legacy and that's, that's important to me.